In a few moments, the contestants will arrive here in the wine cave to learn the results from last night's food and wine challenge. The judges will determine which of them understand the relationship between food and wine and who will continue on to the next challenge of the competition. Lauren and Dan, you kept using the words nice acidity and good acidity. A lot of people were doing that, and I'm not sure in my mind that I'm clear that you understand exactly what the impact of acidity is. A lot of things went bad. I thought for sure that that would be a factor in, in moving forward. In response, James, to the question about alcohol levels that Mark had, about high alcohol levels, you responded by saying, well, that's why I chose a dry Gewurz. Well, a dry Gewurz would have even higher alcohol. So did you not understand the question? Did you not understand the principle behind it? Created some confusion and, and some lack of confidence uh, from, from us. A lot of wine people, especially like wine judges and, and, and critics, they, they love all that eclectic wine geeky stuff. But there were some thoughtful pairings last night that showed a trained palate in our estimation. Ellen and Ross, your pairings by far were the most successful. You really showed your technical chops. You are progressing on to the next round. Congratulations, you can leave the wine cave. The judges' decisions didn't exactly surprise me and I feel like the other teams uh, stumbled. I didn't, I didn't think the other teams picked the wines they could have picked. So that means two of you will be going home. And we've made our decisions, but we do have some questions to ask you. And the first is to James and Taylor. Were you considering the ribs with the Zin or that really sweet barbecue sauce? Uh, start off, as happens in takeout often, they gave us the wrong sauce. That was a sweet Carolina sauce. You're supposed to get a Memphis sauce. Barbecue sauce. And a lot more we smoky. were plating it up and we weren't aware that that was the sauce. My bags were already packed. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I was ready to, I was ready to head back down the road to Napa. Lauren and Dan, I have a question about your selections. Uh, first two wines were relatively inexpensive. Uh, frankly, I thought they were somewhat uninspired. Third wine, champagne, uh, a little bit more expensive, but it certainly didn't break the bank. You were given a pretty healthy uh, allowance to buy wine. Uh, what I want to know is where'd the loot go? What did you do with the rest of your budget? Well, to be honest, when we got to the store, they had a great selection of wines, but didn't have quite as many in some of the areas that we were really sort of gearing towards. They had a couple different white Bordeaux, so we bought both. They had a couple different Cru Beaujolais, so we bought both. So you allowed a cushion for analysis purposes. Correct. Yeah. Correct. The other, and the other ones failed miserably. Yes. Mm. Wow. Um, Lauren and Dan, and I know by this time maybe you feel like we're all ganging up on you, but I, I'm, I'm curious because to me you had some of the easiest dishes to pair wines with. And for example, the, the, the lamb shank was very straightforward. And, and it seemed like there was a myriad of possibilities that, uh, in, in terms of the wines you might have chosen. In, in fact, I think all of us were, were hoping that, that you would have chosen a Chateauneuf de Pop. Um, the fact that the cumin was pretty Yeah, we pretty were just strong. more concerned, I think, about that. Okay. The elimination was tough. I mean, you're standing there in front of the judges and you know that somebody is going home. Lauren and Dan, over the past few months, you both have shown very solid performances. Uh, you've worked really hard. Um, you have passion. You have amazing potential. But you've also had some missteps and, frankly, some disappointments. And so I'm sorry to say you're both going to be going home. That's fine. Thank you very much. I, we had a great time. Thank you for the time, yes. It was a, a great learning curve yes. for me. And there are four. There were four. And they are? Thank you, guys. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. So you're staying? Yeah. I was actually surprised when, um, when I found out that Dan, Dan was going home instead of James. I, I, maybe it's because I've been worried about Dan's marketing and, and sales ability. I, I mean, that quite honestly means that I feel like I'm competing really just with Taylor at this point. Being eliminated is um, something you think about and something that always hits you at the wrong time. I love to have gone further. I wanted to perform well and I hope that it shows that way. When I heard Daniel Tart my brother's name called, I was like, finally, a monkey off my back, you know? I'm not Dan's brother anymore. I'm James Darden. 
you know, I'm definitely disappointed about not sticking around and, and, and seeing it through, but you know, that's just the way it goes and I knew that coming into it, so that's all part of it. I know it sounds probably totally cliche, but I did really have a great time.